But hear him out, Skip. Hear him out. I'd like to hear you out. <laughs> Today, what is your biggest reason why you hate the Patriots? Hate is a strong word, but <laughs> I'll is. say this. It's the Patriots have won a lot. I give them all that credit and, and, and all the Super Bowls that they've won. But I think people always feel like if you were to ask to check their underwear, you wouldn't be sure that they're clean. Yeah. And that's the issue. <laughs> I know, Skip, I'm going a long way there for yeah. you. But that's the issue, is that on the outside or the surface, you might think everything is cool and they're, they, they've won and, wow, this is great, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. But behind this something sinister, sneaky, dirty, that doesn't feel right. And I will compare them to, say, the New York Yankees when they were winning all those World Series with Derek Jeter. It's, all, it's a perfect comparison. From they had Jeter, who was this great player like mm -hmm. Tom Brady, squeaky clean, right, mm -hmm. won all these championships, all this other stuff. But I don't think anybody ever hated the Yankees because they didn't think that they were on the up and up and they didn't win the right way. It's true. When you look at the Patriots, it's all – you just heard this week – Pace, Spagnola. What other championship teams do guys come back from the past to say, I'm not buying that they did it on the up and up? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what hurts the Patriots and their fan base and people try to make excuses mm -hmm. for all of it. And we can go on and on and on. Here are my two things to say that we're not crazy to uh, discount the Patriots. Eric Mangini, who worked there, and call them out on what, how they do their business. And then here's the other example that no one ever talks about and people even forgot about. You know it because it happened to your former team. Josh McDaniels goes there as the head coach. What happened in 2010? He was over in London. And what did he do? His, he sent the video guy and they got caught, the NFL caught him trying to take the 49ers walkthrough. Exactly. And you know what? That was 2010. He got fined $50,000, and the team got fined $50,000. Where did he get that from? Like father, like son. Well, well, right. that's my point. Is that and Mr. Bowling fired him All right. as soon and as he, he got back. And he got fired. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is my point, is that that didn't just happen in a vacuum out of nowhere. That's what they do. And I've said this over and over again, that when it's all said and done and when Belichick retires and Brady retires, mm -hmm. somebody will step up and write that book. And Tom Brady w might wind up or will wind up, right, mm -hmm. as being Lance Armstrong without the bicycle when they pull everything back and see all the other stuff that we don't know about that they used to do. That's the dislike. Mm -hmm. I wish they could have won on the up and up without any of these controversy, and people would then look at the Patriots and admire them. When I encounter people, when I, they, they ask me who I think is going to win, I say, well, I think Philly has a great chance. They're like, good. I just want to see somebody else win. Okay. They want to see someone else win. Mm -hmm. And I think the cheating scandal has hurt the Patriots with the neutral fan. Mm -hmm. See, the Boston fan, the New England area, they don't care. We got the championships. You're not taking it away. So what? Mm -hmm. Because even the allegations with Big Poppy bounce off him where it sticks to everybody else that had the Thank you. mention. Manny and Big Poppy both got busted. But they don't care. We got the World Series, yep. so so what? Kiss the rings, as they like to say. Um, and the, they get viewed as getting favorite calls on the field. We look at skill. We look at the situation with Jesse James and Pittsburgh game. Now, if that had been the Patriots, they said that had been a touchdown. They wouldn't have overruled it. The, the talk rule. It well, now, that, that was outrageously wrong. Yeah. That's the that one was, that uh, launched the dynasty, and right. I give you that one. Yes. The tuck that, rule. That was wrong. And, and so people feel that they get preferential treatment on the field. It, it would have been interesting to see, and I know you mentioned the, uh, the Yankees, if social media would have been involved. Mm -hmm. See, Skip, it's hard to know right now. How would they have felt about the Bulls winning six championships oh, in a year? Oh, it would be different. That's so... Right. So, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to say, you know, we, we get to look at things now through the prism of social media because everybody now, we can see every, what everybody thinks. Everybody has an opinion. They get on here, they get on Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. or whatever your social media network is, and you can voice your opinion. So we know that a lot of people have displeasure with the Patriots and their level of success mm -hmm. for a, very, a, a variety of reasons. But it would be interesting to see mm -hmm. how would they have looked at the Bulls of the 90s? How would they have looked at the Yankees of the late 90s, yeah. early 2000s? winning all the time mm -hmm. would they have had this kind of backlash. I don't believe they would because there was no 
Well, maybe if they'd come out and, you know, you know, Michael was, was smoking cigars and drinking, had late night going to the casinos, maybe they would have been viewed differently maybe. had they had social media catching all of it, everything that he was doing. Yep. We'll never know, but I think that has a lot to do with Skip. I think people are tired of the Patriots winning every year. Mm -hmm. people, don't re people don't care that it's hard to win every year. They just mm -hmm. want to see someone else win. Mm -hmm. And a cheating scandal. Yep. I think that really hurt them with the neutral fans. New England, like I said, they don't care. By the way, Notre Dame is rooting, I'm sorry, Notre Dame, North Dakota is rooting <laughs> for the Patriots because no, uh, North Dakota is rooting against Nick Foles oh. because it's rooting for its favorite. Oh, there so, you right, go, right, right. 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 They don't want figure to that out because yeah. I was there like, There you go, North Skip, Dakota. that makes sense. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I hear you about Spygate, Deflategate. I hear you about the tuck rule. But what gets me is when Robert Kraft says we're like the Yankees, I say, no, you're not. Because the Yankees, going back to the 27 Yankees or the 61 Maris Mantle Yankees or the 90s Derek Jeter Yankees, they're the best team money can buy because it's an uncapped sport. Right. And you're always going out spending the most on the most stars. Right. And you are star laden back to Ruth and Garrick, Maris Mantle and all the way up to Jeter and all the core four guys. Right. So you're, you're loaded with talent and you go get Roger Clemens when you need him. And in this case, the Patriots have done so much with so little because their defense, again, they haven't had the 85 Bears defense. They, they haven't had your Ravens 2000 or the 2002 Tampa Bay Derrick Brooks defense. The, it's not like that. You have perhaps the greatest defense of mine coaching the defense, and then you have the greatest quarterback ever doing it with a lot of smoke and mirrors mm -hmm. and a lot of guys that you look like they just picked up off the street, the little Edelmans and Amendolas and Chris Hogans. And you look at have, have they dominated in Super Bowls the way we, we saw? Remember what Joe Montana did to John Elway? It was right. 55 to 10. 10 right. right, no. And how many times? Remember Steve Young, all those 49. What they did, what was 49 to 26 yeah. over San, Di mm -hmm. uh, San Diego? Yeah, right. it was just a wipeout. It was a mismatch. Troy did to yeah. Jim Kelly, 59, yeah, just, what, 17? Oh, God, yeah, right. <laughs> so then you look back at all these seven Super Bowls. Check this out. So they beat the Rams by three, the Panthers by three, the Eagles by three. They lost to the Giants and Eli by three. Then they lost to them again by four. Then they beat the Seahawks by four. And then they beat the Falcons by six in overtime. overtime. Well, well, every game goes to the wire, and they get no credit for doing so much with so little because they're they're often not even the better team on the field. And also, they got the better coach and the better quarterback, And right? also, Skip, what Mr. Kraft failed to realize the Yankees were winning in the 20s, the 30s, the they 40s. Were. The 50s. Always no, no, I got that. The Patriots, I got that. You're, you, you look, you've been a franchise for almost 60 years. Yeah. You would like for us to think that you've only been a franchise for 20 okay. years and you've been winning all this in 20 years, but the 90s existed. The 80s, the 70s, well, got, and the 60s I mean, I existed. He, I don't think he was saying that. He just said it's Yankees-like that we're getting that kind of hatred back on us because there's always been Red Sox-Yankees hatred yeah. rivalry, right? Yeah, but, okay. yeah the Boston fans, okay. yeah, they despise but, them. But in some way, Ways, when you look at what Tom Brady does with how little and Belichick does with he's just mixing and matching guys, how many big stars, how many Hall of Famers, right? And that's well, just, but, but Skip, doesn't the, the scandals, though, take away yeah, from that? Just because now you're saying if they were blowing everybody away in the Super Bowl, then you would be like, dude, a couple of uh, plays or whatever dip won't make a difference. When you're telling me every Super Bowl's three points – a play or two can make a world of a difference. But, but I've never seen a dynasty get so little credit as this one gets. Yeah. Credit. Just, just, it's always something's wrong. But we, it's this, it's that, it's cheating. But see, Skip, if we could, we could write it, and I, I get your point. You look at Tom Brady, a few guys like Gronk on offense, the couple of years that they had Randy Moss, Ty Law's up for the Hall of Fame, and you got mm -hmm. Coach Belichick. Right. If they were littered with Hall of Famers like the 70 Steelers, mm -hmm. we can see them dominate. Oh, we yeah. see right. why the Steelers won four in six years. Yeah. They got five Hall of Famers on offense. They got four on defense. They, they had the head coach and the owner. So, yeah, we're, okay, yeah, now we see why they're dominating. Mm -hmm. Or the 80s, uh, uh, the 80 49ers with the Bartolo in the Hall of Fame and Walsh and Montana and Rice yeah. and Haley. And all. Right. We, uh, we, can mean, we get it? I mean, these are starless right. teams except for the quarterback. Right. Basically. And, you know, Ronnie right. Lott. So, Skip, yeah. if, we, if they were littered with Hall of Famers, yeah. we can see why. But uh, hold on. They just I, got a handful of guys. How are they winning? They did get caught before. Are they found, have they found another way to beat the system? That's what everybody's asking. No, but but when Brady throws it to Amendola and Edelman and Hogan, you you can't cheat to do that. I mean, no. you still have to throw the pass, and they have to catch it, right? But I, people probably still like they know something. Something. 
That, that, Skip, do you think what I just said about at some point there will be a book that they will be exposed at some point? I know people doesn't happen all the time while people are still playing. They but didn't I think a book was going to come out about Lance Armstrong, did it? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.